Hi guys, today I thought I would film an April's favourites. I know I'm a bit late, but I haven't filmed the favourites in forever and I thought I would do this and Bailey Saunders is bugging me to film a video and I was going to try film a tutorial but I absolutely stuffed my makeup up so we're ignoring the makeup. Okay, and we're just going to jump straight into the favourites. So I'm just going to grab, we all know, and I'll get it out of the way, is my creamy vanilla. Number three, Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Coverage Foundation. Still love this, still use this, it's nearly all out. You can hear it's empty. Um, nearly all out, so I'm going to have to repurchase another one of those. Next is my Inglot Primer. I have another one. Thank you, Bailey. Absolutely love it. I liked the Balm Primer. It was okay, but you know when you go back to a product, using a product you love, and it, make, it makes you realise that you didn't don't like that product as much as you love this product. So absolutely love this product. Couldn't recommend it enough. Next is my Mary Lou Luminizer. Absolutely love this. I use this every day. It's just like the perfect primer. It's not too glittery or too shimmery. It just gives a really nice sheen to the skin. I've got swatches all over my hands. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. But yeah, absolutely love the Mary Luminizer. And I was watching another YouTube video the other day. And they pay like $8 for it in America. And we pay $35. So we're getting ripped off. Next is a recent purchase. I've seen the girls on the Makeup Social talking about it. So I went out and purchased it. It's meant to be a knockoff for the MAC Studio, is it Studio Fix Powder? It's the Australis Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powder. Um, oil free, fragrance free. I got it in the second colour Deep Natural. And I actually really like it. It does give quite a good coverage. At the moment I'm just wearing BB Cream and this. And Technically, I guess you could say I've got two layers on because I put this on this morning and I just touched it up again before filming this. So I do quite like it. It's not what I go for every day. I really only use this when I'm using my um, Models Prefer BB Cream. And then I put this on over the top when I'm just going for a no makeup day. So I absolutely love that and still loving the Models Prefer BB Cream. I've got a lot of powders here. Um, the next one is the Blot Powder by MAC. I've got it in medium dark and it looks like this. I absolutely love this powder. This powder combined with the neck powder I'm going to show you, I swear to God, has changed the longevity ability of my foundation. So it's, it's, it is in medium dark but it's meant to give off no colour transfer, if that makes sense. It's not meant to put a colour on your face. Um, and I can't say I notice it gives more coverage, but it does something. I don't know what it does. It's meant to be an oil control powder. I don't know if I necessarily get really oily throughout the day, but this stuff is amazing. And the other powder I use with that is the MAC Prep and Prime Finishing Powder in Transparent. So this was one that was given to me. Thank you, Tabar. Um, I'm going to have to repurchase it soon, but I love using this for setting my under eye concealer. Um... It really blurs out the crease lines that you get under your eyes and I also use it just here because I get two frown lines and down my smile lines. And that's the only place I use it which is why this is lasting me so long. You can use this all over your face but for some reason I just really like the blot powder for all over my face. But absolutely love the MAC Prep and Prime Finishing Powder. To be honest if, I was, if you only wanted to purchase one of these I think the MAC Blot is about 30... 30 something and the MAC Prep and Prime is I think it's about 49 but this one I think is really good if you seem to get creasing on your makeup so I'd recommend that for this one and if you're oily I definitely recommend the blot next is the MAC I can't believe how much MAC I have in this okay is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish this one is in medium dark and I like to use this to contour with, so I just like put it in the spots where I want it and blend it out. And it just gives a nice, very subtle contour and I love it for that. And then if I want to deepen it up, I love using MAC Blunt Blush, which looks like this. Absolutely, it's like a really... It's not coming up. That's what it looks like. It's just a really dark brown colour yeah 
love using the blunt to deepen it up. I want to, but I don't know if I want to try like a Hula or a Laguna or something like that. I'm just going to do the last MAC product because I can't believe how many I have. Is the MAC Soft Ochre Painterly, Painterly, Soft Ochre Paint Pot, which looks like this. I've been using this as an eyeshadow base for probably the last week, week and a half, and I love it. It doesn't crease at all. The Soft Ochre is a yellow undertone base, which is perfect for people with yellow undertones as an eyeshadow base. And Painterly is more better suited for people with pink undertones. So I've absolutely been loving my paint pot. Next is blushes. The first one is Frat Boy by The Balm. I love this when I'm just going for an everyday. It's a nice, 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 nice pink colour. I love this for when I'm just going for an everyday natural look, you know, I don't want a, my blush to be too obvious, but I don't want my face to be too flat. And the next one is my Ella Masca Blush in Lover. I absolutely love this. I really want to get some more blushes from Ella Masca. I want to get, I think it's Hussy, and I want to get the cream one, I think it's called Rude. So love their blushes. They're very pigmented, so you only need the tiniest little bit. Absolutely love them. It wouldn't be the right favourites video if I didn't show my Inglot palette. So I'm just going to leave it at that. I love my Inglot palette. I basically use it every single day. I don't remember the last time I used one of my other palettes, which is kind of bad. Next is the Cover Girl Clump Crusher Mascara. So it's just the one in the green tube. It's got the bent wand, rubbery wand, which just looks like that. I absolutely love this. I do think it stops clumping. Um, I think it gives me a little bit more length and some volume, but really defines your eyelashes so you can see all of them and it doesn't just look like one big mess. So I absolutely love that. A lot of the time I've actually just been wearing two coats of this instead of mixing it with my Volume Million lashes. Next is my Maybelline New York Master Precise Liquid Liner. Just has a very fine tip like that. Absolutely love it. I need to get a, a new one. The, this one's pretty much ran out, but I absolutely love it. It just makes doing the upper lash line so easy. And if you want to do a winged liner, um, some people like this one. Some people like the Revlon one. I prefer this one because it is smaller. Last but not least is my Sedona Lace EB09. I don't know how I ever lived without this brush. Honestly, like, I absolutely love it. There are so many knockoffs for it. Like, I've got... Oops, little Sedona Lace. Okay, I've got one other knockoff, which is a Crown Brush Pro Blending Fluff. So, as you can see, they are pretty much basically exactly the same thing. I don't know how I ever lived without this brush. I think it's absolutely amazing. Um, you can use it to pack on colour, you can use it to put colour in the crease, and you can use it to blend out. It is seriously just a multi-purpose brush that everybody should own. So that's my favourite. Oh, nope, last one is a hair product, and it is the Coconut Oil Butter. Yeah, Organic Coconut Oil Butter. This is the best hair treatment ever. Like, I have tried from cheap to really high-end products, and this has to be the best thing I've ever tried for my hair. Um, it makes, I have very frizzy, damaged hair because of all the bleaching I used to do to it. That makes my hair just dry nicely. It makes my hair feel nice, makes my hair look healthy, and I recommend everybody try it. So, yeah, that's all. I honestly thought I ha would have a lot more, considering it's been forever since I filmed it favorites video but I don't so I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you next time please subscribe like this video and leave any comments or questions below or recommendations for future videos and I'll see you in the future bye